video, I just wanted to go over the new interface in the Unreal Engine 5.0 and above. They've changed a little bit as far as organize and manage your projects. So honestly, it's the same thing as the 4.0 series, but they just switched out and classified their specific file types that you can start with as far as base templates are concerned. Now, when you open Unreal from the Epic Game Launcher, you're going to be faced with this interface here where it's going to have a list of different types of projects along the left hand side here. And then going along the bottom here, you have some additional options available to you. So talking about the left side first here, by default, you're always going to see your most recent projects here. So you can see I have a bunch of different projects from a bunch of different Unreal versions and you can choose actually if you'd like down in the bottom in the lower left hand corner you can always you can choose to actually always load last project on startup this is one of those personal preferences i don't like to do that just because i'm flipping between projects from a teaching standpoint but if you're working say for a game jam or you're working on a personal project that you're not having to have multiple projects running simultaneously eh, it might be some food for thought for you now let's actually dive into these five here. The main primary area that I focus on is the games. So if you click on this, you're actually going to see a bunch of different game templates already pre-made for you that you can work with. So you have uh, the top down, third person, first person. You also have vehicle, AR, and virtual reality. These have come a long way as far as being able to get you started. Uh, again, if you go blank though, uh, one nice thing about a blank game file and project is that you have complete control. You are the one that is deciding everything as far as is it first person, third person, how are the controls set up, etc. However, from a teaching standpoint, I get a lot of students that are starting out and having to set that type of blueprinting up can take a bit of time. So a lot of my students actually prefer to jump right into first person and third person. From a VR standpoint, uh, because I have to generate VR projects quickly, I'll often favor the VR uh, setup here. I've had no problems with it as far as exporting to Vive or to uh, the Quest. The only things that you want to pay attention to whenever you're working with any of the templates or the blanks is over on this right hand side here. You'll get a description here of what that project has, but more specifically, you have the defaults for the project here. More specifically, I want to draw your attention to these two buttons here. Yes, technically Unreal, you can start with blueprints and then shift to C++ and vice versa. However, I normally work in the blueprint environment, so I leave that at the default. You also have what is your target platform. I mainly work with a desktop and I leave the quality presets at max. This item right here, starter content, as you continue on and you get more assets available to you, you may want to turn this off from just saving some file size here. Uh, however, starting out, uh, just making a basic project, nothing wrong with leaving that on. You'll get things like tables, statues, chairs, lights, etc. Then the last thing you need to think about whenever you're working and you're making some sort of project from a baseline is where do you want to save your projects? When you're making an Unreal project, Unreal works very similar to other game engines whereby it's going to generate a folder and then generate a bunch of extra files for you as far as making the project run. So you want to choose a location to store your projects. Now, because I have two hard drives in my machine, I use my D drive and I actually have a folder specifically called Unreal Projects where I will put all of my projects. Then you have to come and choose your project name. The project name is the name of the primary folder. So for example, if I go back to recent projects here, you can see I have things like Quit Demo, Museum Student Work, Death Respawn, etc. Those were the project names that I picked for those specific projects. It's just a way of identifying. When you get to the publication stage, you can change that name. So don't worry about the name for right now. 
just to go through them and just show them in the video here. You also have a bunch of different options as far as film and video for live events. You also have some options as far as handheld AR with architecture. You have a collaboration view as far as using the desktop or VR. You got automotive and product design, and you also have simulations, which brings you up to a simulation blank, but also includes that AR and VR elements there. So again, really what you're going to see a lot on this channel is I mainly focus on the games area. You'll see a lot of the first person, the third person, um, things like that there. So hopefully this helps as far as getting started and taking you through this interface. Also to think about where do you want to store your projects and remember that you're working in a folder based environment.